Hello friends and welcome to this video. Today, this is the part 2 of a series of videos that I'm, I'm creating uh, of how to use the Yukon Ranger night vision monocular with your computer and uh, you know evaluating how it looks and all that stuff. So right now I'm gonna show you, I already unpacked the Easy Grabber 2. Now we're gonna connect it to the, to the laptop through its USB port. Now the cool thing about this little thing, it cost me only $15, $15 to $16, you can find that on eBay or on Amazon. It has good reviews, I can report it works perfectly with Windows 7 64-bits edition, professional. So you're gonna be good to go. It comes with some software and drivers, everything is installed great and everything works, but I'm gonna show you what works and there are some glitches with the software that it comes with but there's a way around and I'm gonna show you how to do that too so let's just connect this to the USB and I just finished installing the drivers you see that the plug and play recognize it on the laptop you hear the characteristic sound also there is a blue light that turns on in the easy grabber the power, board, um, power light and uh, it's already recognized it so let's open the software that comes with the easy grabber that is called Let's see. Let's just go back here. And uh, it's called Easy Grab. Let's just write it because I can find it right now. It's called Easy Grabber. So I'm just opening it. It's opening on the laptop, you can see. And uh, okay, so we, you know, it's, it's like a video player, it doesn't have anything special to it. And also, we don't have anything attached to the Easy Grabber, so there is no video input. So you can see the Easy Grabber has three different um, RCA cables and this is like a video cable that we are not really gonna use. The yellow one is for video and the red and white is for audio. So let's get the Yukon Ranger here on the scene. Say hello to the Yukon Ranger. So we're gonna just put it here on the floor, put in this back. And uh, you see that I have connected the, the video input or output, no, the video output, sorry, that, co that cable that uh, comes with the Yukon Ranger, this little thing here, and I had connected it to the a cable that comes with the Easy Grabber 2. This cable comes with the Easy Grabber 2, as I said in my unboxing video. Now, let's just go ahead and choose the yellow cable the yellow RCA video cable and connect it to the yellow RCA cable of the Easy Grabber 2. So that's it. So we have that connection and uh, I'm gonna take off this uh, these covers that the Yukon Ranger have. One, two. After doing that I'm gonna turn on the power on the Yukon Ranger. See the, it's, it's green. So, I'm going to place the Yukon Ranger here, it's a little bit uh, difficult to manage all these devices by myself and creating the video at the same time, but as you can see, there is nothing on the video yet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this off, exit, I'm going to turn the program again. There is no video yet. So this happened to me at the first time. So what I did is I had to go into the options of the Easy Grabber software. You see there's a wheel here. Just click on that. And you can see that it's set on PAL. PAL is the European format and it, it, it comes by default in PAL format so it's not gonna work. So you have to change that and put it into the NTSC. It could be M or MG. Let's, let's use MG just for the heck of it. And click OK. And now you see that I have video that is coming from my Yukon. So of course uh, it's just pointing at the sky right now and it's a little bit out of focus. But uh, just this is just to tell you that it's working and uh, just gonna point it to a vacuum cleaner I have there. There you go. It's working and uh, I'm getting video from the Yukon Ranger. Now, there is other things that 
I'm just going to show you. I'm going to try to focus on something so you can have a better view. I have my iPhone there charging, so I'm just going to... And you can see that it's during the day and uh, the Yukon Ranger is so cool that it even lets you see it during the day. So you see, I'm going to make a close-up, one hand with Yukon, one hand with my camera. You see, this is the video of, of the night vision monocular in my computer. This is my iPhone that is, is being charged and you can see that it's it's there. Now I want to turn on the infrared and you see how cool the infrared light is pointed in. And this is during the day again. I turn it off the infrared. I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to put down the Yukon. So the cool thing about this is that for example if I want to record, let's say I want to record this all you have to do is go to the Easy Grabber and press record here. Or you can go to the physical device itself and press the record button. And you see it's capturing a, a, um, a picture, but you can set it up so it will capture video when you press that button too. So just for the sake of this video, I'm just going to press record here. And this is what happens when I press record using the Easy Grabber software. It's, it's getting distorted what I'm seeing on the screen. I'm, moving, I'm gonna move the, the Yukon, you see it's all distorted. Uh, I noticed that this happened all the time. So this is a bug in the Easy Grabber software. But of course, being so cheap, I kind of expected that. Now, if I turn off the recording and I play it back, you will see that it plays back perfectly. Meaning that it's just not uh, good enough to show me the video while it's recording. So in other words, it's not really useful if you want to record uh, using this software with your Yukon. So you're gonna have to gonna get out of this and you're gonna have to rec um, use another software to record with your Yukon. The software that I recommend using is iSpy. iSpy, you can Google that. It's a free uh, recording uh, video monitoring software that is really impressive. It has so many choices. I'm gonna open it here. And it works perfectly with the Yukon Ranger and the Easy Grabber 2, and also with any video cameras or any video source. So I rec re strongly recommend that you check it out, iSpy, and it's a really nice and neat program. And I, I, like I said, it works perfectly with the Yukon. I'm just gonna prove it to you that I had it set it up, so it will start. Just these are some tips, getting started. And I'm gonna add here, I'm gonna get a local camera, and it's asking me which camera to add. You have to choose Conextant Polaris, video capture, hit OK, and finish. And you see that it's showing me the same thing that I showed you before. It's showing me the video from the Yukon Ranger. And let's point to that cell phone again. If I can, this is a little bit hard to do with only two hands. Uh, let's see if I can point it out. There you go. You see it is pointing it. Now, the cool thing about this uh, I spy is that you can have more than one video source attached and monitor it at the same time. So it's pretty neat. I'm gonna turn it off, you see the blue screen. So it's really neat and I'm thinking about creating a video just to explain how the iSpy works and uh, the many things that you can do. So, but you see, this is video number two in this series. We are almost there to start using the Yukon in, in real action or in a real scenario and uh, I really want to thank you for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more of this series, please support me, subscribe, and uh, let me know. Your comments are very, very much appreciated. And, uh, you know, those comments sometimes make me going, and I really thank you for, for that. Okay, thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.